intermittent fasting and meal timing. Do those things work? Are they effective? Do we need to be paying more attention to them? I'm covering all that in today's episode, so let's get ready for episode 118. Come on. I've always been that skinny guy. Why can't I gain muscle mass? What do I do in the gym? They said I'd always be skinny. This is your complete source for how to gain lean muscle and break out of your skinny body. From nutrition to getting the most out of your workouts and everything in between. We know just how frustrating gaining muscle mass can be. But don't worry, we've got you covered. You're listening to the Bones to Bulk Podcast. Hey, thanks for joining me today. My name is Brian. I'm excited to get into this topic because it's a question that gets brought up a lot. People are always coming to me, what about intermittent fasting? How late should I eat in the day? And so I want to dive into those subjects because they're important and they get a lot of discussion. So we're going to discuss them here. Before we dive into that, if you've not been over to our YouTube channel, you probably know what I'm going to say. Head on over to youtube.com slash bones to bulk. It's a freaking awesome place to really build upon what we talk about here. I show a lot of things. I do a lot of examples. And so it's it's a great kind of tag along with the podcast. So youtube.com slash bones to bulk. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. I would definitely appreciate it. And leave a comment of what you would like to see future videos or podcasts on. All right, let's get into it. So... First off, we're going to touch on intermittent fasting. And does it do some magical thing? Well, first off, intermittent fasting, if you're not familiar with it, basically what you do is you set a window for yourself to eat in this certain window. Usually the split is 16 and 8. So in other words, you're allowed to eat for 8 hours of the day, and then the other 16, you're in a fasting state. So for example, you can eat from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., or you could eat from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. As long as you're making sure that all the calories you consume are in that eight hour window. Now you can have water, coffee, if it has nothing in it outside that window. The coffee is debatable depending on who you ask. But in my opinion, if you're drinking coffee with nothing in it, it's practically like water. So yeah, just my two cents. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what intermittent fasting is. Now, when you have your eating window really doesn't matter. The key with that is sticking it to your schedule. So in other words, if you like to eat most of your food in the afternoon, you probably want to do a later window. So maybe 11 to seven. Uh, if you really need that food in the morning, then switch it up, get your calories in early, do like six to two, do what works for you. If you're trying to choose a window, that part really doesn't matter as long as the calories are within that eight hour window. Now, there's not really a magic behind intermittent fasting. The magic comes in in that it is putting you on a strict schedule. You know that you can only eat calories from X time to X time. And so what that means is you're probably more than likely going to consume a lot less calories in a day. Because let's say you're eating from 10 to 6. You're not going to be snacking on donuts at 8 a.m. in the break room. Um, at nighttime when you're, you know, settling down, watching some Netflix or whatever, you're not going to be munching on your favorite snack or anything because you're outside of that window. So it's definitely going to cut down on your calories. It helps keep you accountable. I know a lot of people that this works really well with just because it helps build that structure for them and helps them kind of narrow down their window of eating so that they're not just picking at stuff throughout the day. They have this limited time. And don't get me wrong, you can't just like eat 1,500 calories in that window and expect to gain muscle mass. Or on the converse side of that, you can't eat 6,000 calories within that eight-hour window and expect to lose weight. Like, you still need to be hitting your calorie goal in that window. But it helps you to hit that calorie goal. It helps you maintain that better. Now, personally, for weight gain, to me, it's harder to get obviously more calories in an eight hour window. It just is like, I do know some people who do it successfully. And again, just because it helps them get in that mindset of a strict schedule. But for me personally, I have to eat so many calories in a day that I would be just eating nonstop for that eight hours. So that would suck for me. I like eating throughout the day. And I'm going to stick with that. But I'm not saying that intermittent fasting doesn't have a place because Again, I know a lot of people that it works really, really well for. So if you are interested in it, give it a shot. Like try it out for a week or two. See what you think. See if it works for you. You know, if it doesn't, no harm, no foul. Like you've got to try things. And at least you've got to try things that are good to try. Like I don't recommend trying something that's unhealthy or that I don't believe in. But with intermittent fasting, I think it's a good thing. So give it a try. 
All right, so now let's kind of move into more meal timing because it kind of falls hand in hand with that. You know, we're with intermittent fasting, we're talking about eating within a certain time frame window. And with meal timing, it's more of what time of day should you eat your meals? Like, should you be eating right when you wake up? Should you be eating, you know, how late should you eat in the evening? And there's been all this stuff for so long. And a big, huge misconception is that eating before, right before bed is like just terrible. And I think eating right before bed can affect your sleep. But as far as it means you're automatically going to put on fat during the night, it doesn't work that way. Like, let's say you don't eat anything all day. Like, you you fast all day long. I don't recommend that. And then you have some big meal, like chicken and a potato and some veggies at 9.30 at night, and then you go to bed at 10 o'clock. If that's all you've eaten all day, and you're under that calorie goal that you've set for yourself, guess what? You're not gaining fat while you sleep. Your body's using those calories because it's in a deficit. So it has nothing to do with whether you eat right before bed or whether you don't eat right before bed. Meal timing really doesn't matter. Again, what it comes down to is what works for you. If having a big breakfast at 6 a.m. makes you want to puke, then don't do it. Wait a couple hours until you wake up. I used to be that way. I used to have the hardest time eating right when I woke up. So I worked around that. I didn't eat when I woke up. I would wake up. I would go to the gym. I'd work out. I'd have a post shake, which was pretty much just like some whey protein and dexterous powder. And, and then I'd wait even longer. And then I'd finally eat breakfast. But I'd been up for several hours. And that was just what worked for me at the time. Now, I don't know what switched, but like I like eating when I wake up. I'm usually hungry. And that's probably because back in the day, I was eating so much food because I didn't really understand the density of food and how I could still get in all my calories but not eat as much because I was eating more calorie-dense foods and so I didn't have to eat as often. And so I was stuffed all the time. And so waking up in the morning, I didn't feel like eating. So that's probably a big part of it. Um, it could be just getting, you know, a few years older that my body changed. I don't know. Regardless, now I eat right when I wake up. The key is find what works for you. I say this all the time. Like, there's no, there are some very clear, like, do this, don't do this steps that you need to build for your foundation. But when it comes to stuff like this, find what works for you. We're not all the same. We don't all run on the same biological clock. We don't all get up at the same time, go to bed at the same time, have the same schedule. So of course, our bodies are going to crave and want things at different times. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like don't fight yourself. There's no point in making this harder than it needs to be. If eating breakfast at 11am and eating lunch at three in the afternoon, and then dinner at eight o'clock works for you, like, if that's just feels right for you, then do it. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing. Again, find what works for you. Do that regardless of whether somebody's saying, no, you've got to eat at 8, 12, and 6 on the nose and don't eat anything in between and don't eat anything. Like, this nonsense. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So I hope this helps clear the air in regards to intermittent fasting and meal timing and hopefully dispels the myth once and for all that. Just because you eat a meal right before bed does not mean you're going to gain fat. Do I recommend eating a big meal right before bed? Not really, because I like I've done that a couple times, just weird traveling or whatever. And I usually just feel bloated getting in bed and I have more trouble sleeping. So I don't recommend it. But you're not going to like wake up 10 pounds heavier because you ate a meal later at night. It's just it doesn't work that way. All right. If you are on social media, check us out. We are at Bones to Bulk. We are on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok and YouTube, which I already mentioned. So be sure to check us out on one of those platforms. We have an amazing group over on Facebook. Head on over there, search Bones to Bulk, join the group, get plugged into an awesome community. All right, have an amazing day. And remember that regardless of what things are staring you down, you can get around them, you can get over them, the rain does not last forever. It will stop. Things will start to look up and you will start owning every day. And some days they may suck, but for the most part, you're going to own life. You can accomplish, stick with things. You can accomplish your goals. You've got this.